Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining my live stream tonight. I really do appreciate you. I got a song in my heart. That's why I got up here singing the intro because I got a little song in my heart. But I want to thank each and everyone for joining another night of, I was about to say the thoughts of Lisa Smiles, but another live stream. What's that? Another live stream. Thank y'all so much for joining. I'll be getting sidetracked. But if you're new here watching my channel and you watching me for the first time, my name is Lisa Smiles. I am a natural hair care specialist here in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. And here on my channel, we're going to kiki, okay? We're going to get that word up in you. And we're going to get your natural hair together. And if the spirit leads me, okay, I'm going to beat my tambourine. So you have been warned. Guard your heart. Guard your ears. You have been warned, okay? And I'm also the originator, the creator of the million dollar, famous million dollar glow butter. If you haven't already, go ahead and slide and click that link in the bio and get you some. If you have problems with eczema, dry skin, or you just want to get your, <laughs> your glow on, okay? And then I also have just created two new lines. I have Call Me Zaddy. Call Me Zaddy is great for the fathers, okay? Them daddies, they day is coming up. So go ahead and get your Call Me Zaddy. This is the Woody Spice. And I also created Marie Glows, which I created this in for my grandma's legacy, okay? So Marie Glows, go ahead and get you some. Click the link in the description box. So anyway, hold on. It's going to bother me. Let me move some. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I told y'all the glow butters. Yeah, and so tonight, I'm going to be giving y'all some tips on things to consider if you're thinking about coloring your hair. So go ahead and invite some of your friends who be at home doing box dye and they just be jacking their head up. Go ahead and share it to them because I'm about to go ahead and get them some gems and help them get their life together, Okay. Okay, but before we get into the topic, let's go ahead and greet the Smiles Tribe, the ones who decided to join a live stream. And shouts out to y'all who be watching the replay. I be seeing you. I, appreci I appreciate the replay watchers as well. And first in the building, we got Big Sis Acacia, the Smiles Tribe moderator. Go ahead and put some respect on her name. She said, greetings, Smiles Chop. She here. She was in the vestibule waiting for y'all, okay? Coach Haru is in the building saying, hello, everyone. Thanks so much for joining, Coach Haru. And I was just kicking on So So Live about your song, honey. I was over here shaking, okay? Tracy Ann is all the way in here. Oh, Coach Haru is from the what site? I love saying that. And Tracy Ann is all the way in here from the West Side saying hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Lisa H is up in the building tonight saying hello, ladies. And Coach Haru done got us our snacks tonight. She done got us some water, some grapes, some strawberries, some blue, some kiwis. Come on now. We feeding our body with these healthy foods and everything because you're going to need it. You're going to need it. And then Tracy Ann said, hey, I can't shut I go, I can't shut. Hey, I can't shut. I go, I can't shut. Hey, I can't shut. I go, I can't shut. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, little Lisa. So, so could not get the song right tonight, but it's okay. It's okay. I was praying. I said, Lord, bring it to her remembrance. And she finally got it. But yeah, little Lisa's up in the building tonight. And then um, Tracy Ann is greeting Lisa H. So, without further ado, I don't think I have any church announcements. I don't have any church announcements tonight, but we're going to go ahead and get into the topic and we're going to make this as interactive, as fun as possible. I got a lot of great feedback on my other live stream. Y'all really like the interactive one. I think it's fun and um, yeah, it just keep keeps y'all involved. So if y'all ready for the first thing to consider when coloring your natural hair, 
Go ahead and put a one in the chat for me. Go ahead and put tip number one. Tip number one. Tip number tip tip number one. Hey. Hey, tip number 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 one. The first thing to consider if you want to color your hair. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I want y'all to consider when you thinking about coloring your hair is first of all making sure it's in your budget okay it is an investment so go ahead and put budget slash maintenance cost go ahead and put that in the chat that's the first thing i want y'all to consider is the budget and the maintenance cost so this thing the reason why i say this is the first thing because we be wanting hair color and stuff like that, and we don't think about the cost. We don't think about the maintenance, like the upkeep. And people just think you can just go to the salon and just get it colored, and then you just do your own thing at home, which you can, but there are some maintenance costs associated with that. And I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. Hair coloring is not my thing. That's not my area of expertise. I do not offer it, but I will refer you. But I do know some things about the maintenance and things to consider. But I will say this. Now, if you're going to be coloring your hair, you make sure you do your research and you find the right style. So, and, and the good ones, the good colorers, they ain't cheap. They ain't cheap, okay? So, you need to make sure it's in the budget, Okay? And the maintenance costs. And remember, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. So you're over here trying to be cheap and going to somebody and you can get your head messed up. Okay? So you can't say I ain't work, I ain't warn you. So shop around, find, make sure you find the right stylist, the right color is for you, and make sure it's in the budget. And the reason why I say maintenance costs is because when it comes to coloring your hair. There's some maintenance associated with it, okay? There's some maintenance associated with it, like doing the upkeep, doing the treatments, and all of that. You got to keep that up because color will take a toll on your natural hair if you're not taking care of it. If you're not taking care of it, okay? Hold on, let me write this down. I, had to, I just thought about something else. So, yeah, the first thing I want y'all to consider is make sure it's in your budget. Have your coin ready. Have your corn ready and don't be trying to argue and debate with people prices. Okay. They said what they said. The price is the price is the price is the price. Okay. So don't be going up in nobody's salon trying to have her prices. Okay. If she said 300, it's 300. If she say it's 450, it's 450. Okay. The price is the price is the price because there is science behind coloring. There is detail. Color takes time, okay? Sometimes color takes time depending on what kind of color and how intricate you're trying to get it, okay? Have your coin ready. Have your coin ready, okay? Ready, all right? So the second thing I want you to consider, this probably should have been the first thing, but again, these ain't in no particular order. Go ahead and put number two in the chat. Go ahead and put number two. Go ahead and put number two. This ain't in no particular order, but I'm going to give it to you. Queen Heart is up in the building tonight saying, hey, Smiles Tribe. Hey, Queen Heart. Hey. That ain't your song, but hey, Queen Heart. Um, I'm thinking about Q Scott, and I feel like I sing her name. Coach Sheena said, I need to know this because all mine broke off with my beautiful burgundy hair. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I wish you would have seen this beforehand. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, y'all. Oh, Tracy Ann said, yes, ma'am, Coach Rue. Want to be 104 by Friday. Glad I got my glow butters. Oh, yes, honey. Glad you got it. Okay, yeah, Q Scott is up in the building saying, hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining Q Scott. All right, so y'all ready for the second tip? Y'all ready for, I said what I said. <laughs> I always think about Nene from uh, Housewives of Atlanta. Yep, maintenance. I tried to save money by keeping it up on my own. Okay. All right, so number two, next thing you need to consider is the health, the current health 
status of your hair. Okay, y'all know on my channel, this is my thing. I, I'm the type of stylist, my niche is natural hair. My niche is focusing on the health, having healthy natural hair. I'm always giving y'all hair tips, so that's my thing. I dive deep in it, I, I stay in my lane, okay? Now, this is something y'all really need to consider, okay? Really need to consider the health of your hair. Is your hair healthy? Yes or no? Ain't no, uh, sometimes, no, absolutely. Not yes or no. Is it healthy? Is it healthy? Because if your hair ain't healthy, just go ahead and throw hair coloring out the, out the book. Just, just, just hang it up. Hang it up. Hang it up. Because you going to make the situation worse. Y'all always hear me say it all the time. If your edge is compromised, and, and you still can probably get hair coloring if your edges are compromised. It's all depending on the placement too. But if you don't be taking care of your hair, if you lazy, you don't get your ends trimmed when you're supposed to, you don't moisturize when you're supposed to, you don't, you just don't keep your hair up. If you know you ain't about that life and you lazy with your hair, don't get no hair color. Not no permanent hair color. I'm going to get into the other caveats and nuances if you still want color, but you don't want to go as drastic as permanent hair color. I'm going to explain the difference. But don't be thinking about doing no permanent hair color and bleaching your hair and all of that. Don't be thinking about doing no blonde. If you lazy, don't think about doing no blondes. Don't, mm -mm, mm -mm. And here's the thing. If you are lazy and you know you don't do your hair like that, that's why I said it go back to tip number one. Make sure it's in the budget and the maintenance cost. So you like Lisa, I'm those type of people where I am lazy, I admit, but I want my hair color. Well, you need to put that in your budget to go be go see a professional. Go see a professional. You need to be going to go see a professional to help up with your maintenance. So you gonna pay either way. You gonna pay. So keep that in mind. The health of your hair. If you have problems with your hair just being dry all the time and you haven't figured out what works and how to keep your hair moisturized, hang it up. I'm being serious. Hang it up. Because hair coloring sometimes, especially with the blondes and stuff like that, um, it can really, it can really damage your hair worse. And I seen something going off in the comments. Did demolisher say she have a confession? When I was 16 or 17, let a friend put Kool-Aid in my hair for some color and my hair broke slam off. I was upset when my hair fell out. So, so you ain't the only one. You ain't the only one. So, so a lot of us and did that and don't feel bad. And here's the thing. Don't feel bad. If you don't color your hair and your hair don't fill out or your hair got damaged, don't feel bad. Cause you're here to get the knowledge. Now you're here to get the knowledge. We don't all did some stuff. We don't all did some stuff. So, so, so don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. But I commend you for making that confession. I commend you. I commend you. Coach Rook said the health of your hair. That's what we did back in the day. We sure did. We sure did. We got them Kool-Aid packs and we dyed our hair. So, so don't feel bad. In 11th grade, I used sun in on my hair. Woke up with orange hair looking like Ronald McDonald and then it broke off. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Everybody probably got horror stories about hair color and me included. Me included. Me included. So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Let's have a moment of silence for the debt demolisher. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So, so it's okay. Coach Rue said, I've been using your daily leave-in conditioner and I get my maintenance already scheduled. Yeah, Coach Rue, I think you said you colored your hair earlier this year, her locks, and she been using the products, okay? She be using the products, okay? Right. All right, so did y'all get number two in y'all spirit? Did y'all get number two in y'all spirit? Did y'all get in your spirit? Go ahead and put number three, tip number three you need to consider. Tip number three, go ahead and put that in the chat. Tracy Ann said, yes, coach. I made it work, though. Eventually wore headbands back in the day like Olivia Newton. Who is Olivia Newton? Y'all know I'm young. Y'all know I'm young. I don't even know who that is. Olivia Newton? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Lisa H. said, I know I called myself bleaching my hair. It looked nice at first, but... 
Then I got hot curl. Then as I hot curled my hair, the part just broke off. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. So the third thing you need to consider is what type of hair color do you want? So do you want a permanent hair color? You want a demi-permanent hair color or you want a, a rinse? Okay, so I'm going to go into all of them so you can kind of figure out what's, what, what you're looking for. So a per permanent hair color, self-explanatory in a way. Permanent hair color, I want y'all to think about it as far as like getting a tattoo. So when you get a tattoo, I, I don't have no tattoos. Let me tell you something, I'm a punk. <laughs> I'm a punk. Everybody was getting tattoos. Like when I turned 18 and I went to college, everybody getting tattoos. It was this tattoo uh, place across the street. And I was a punk. Like, I, I know, like, Lisey, you grown now. You can get your tattoo. I was like, yeah, but my mama, you know, but my mama said, but nah, for real. I was just too much of a punk because I don't like needles. Like, I be about to cry, get my blood drawn. So, I'm like, I'm not about to get no tattoo. Absolutely not. And what I'm about to get, Ray Ray on my, you know, little dusty Ray Ray. And no, I ain't dating no Ray Ray, but my brother name is Ray, but we call him Ray Ray. But I'm just saying Ray Ray because it just sounds funny. It just sounds funny. But yeah, I ain't about to get Ray Ray tattooed on me. All the girls getting some tattoo. I was just too scared. And until this day, I still don't have not nan tattoo. And they're like, Lisa, you know, as you get old, you should get one for one. At this point, I was young, dumb, and full of Back then, so if I ain't get it then, what's the point now? I can't think of nothing I want to get tattooed on me. So I say, it's a wrap. I don't, uh, I ain't got no desire. Because I don't want to, I'm not about to pay, to go through pain, that kind of pain. Absolutely not. So anyway, that's just a sidebar story. But permanent hair color, I want y'all to think about it as far as like a tattoo. Because a tattoo, they take the needle and the ink is going up under the skin. Same thing with coloring your hair. When you do permanent hair color, it's basically removing the natural pigment out and depositing another color in. That's what permanent hair color is doing. It's taking the natural pigment out and depositing the color in. So maybe getting a red, you can do blondes, you can do all types of color. That's permanent hair color. Permanent hair color stays in, especially if you dye it to the root, it just depends on how long uh, it takes your hair to grow out. Sometimes six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks before your hair grows out, before you need to touch up, okay? And the only other way to get rid of permanent hair color is eventually it will fade or you can just cut it off, okay? And it'll grow or it'll grow out. So either, either one. So that's why it's more so permanent. So in order to remove it, you need to either cut it, let it grow all the way out, keep trimming it. Or, like I said, it'll keep fading and you can put other little colors on top of it and keep mixing and matching, okay? The second one, I want, the second one is the Demi. So, this is more, this is when it is not Demi permanent. So, this one is not so much like a lifelong sentence. <laughs> How I want this one. It's not really a lifelong sentence. So, this one goes up under, under your, I ain't gonna say up under your skin. Demi, I want y'all to think about it like this. Y'all remember back in the day when you used to get those little fake tattoos that you would put the water and, you know, you you were able to wear it for a couple of days and after you keep washing your arm, maybe after a week or two weeks, it, it rubs off. It's kind of, that's kind of like how Demi permanent hair color is. So it's going to last longer than a rinse, but eventually it's going to fade out and after about a couple of washes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be gone. It's not that big of a commitment like the permanent hair color, okay? All right? And then another way to kind of think of, um, per, not permanent, demi-permanent demi hair color is thinking about maybe your lipsticks, like, or lip stains. Like, I have some lipsticks, like, I be in there scrubbing my lips trying to get that thing off. Like, it, it, it really just put, like, a stain on it. And then after a while, you keep washing and washing and washing your hair, and then eventually it's gone, okay? Now, the other, the last option is you can do a rinse. You can do a rinse. So, this is like a totally temporary color. You see a lot of women do this to cover their grays, me included. Y'all see, y'all y'all don't see no grays up there. Ew. <laughs> okay, I, I, I cheated, y'all. I, I, 
I colored my grays, okay? I put a little, I slapped something on it as I, I set this in. Because I'm like, I need to look young, okay? But I don't care. I don't care about them gray hairs. But anyway, you'll see some women do like a rinse to cover their grays. And rinses, they really don't last that long. You probably might get maybe about, maybe about four shampoos and it's all gone. And your grays are back showing, okay? They are back showing. So it's totally temporary. It's no commitment. It's ammonia free. To me, it's the most, uh, the safest. It's kind of like putting in like a fingernail polish. So think of a rinse, kind of like a fingernail polish. Like you, and once you put that acetone on it, that fingernail polish is coming off. Like it's not going to last long at all. Like fingernail polish does not last long at all. All right. So though you have those three options that you want to consider as far as what you want to do as far as coloring your hair. Now, in my professional opinion, if you're going to be going more so with the demi and the permanent, you do not need to do it at home. Go seek professional help. Go seek professional help because you don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to measure. You don't know what you're doing. You don't. You don't know what you're doing. If you want to save your hair, go to a stylist, a colorist, okay? Because there's science behind that and you will end up jacking it up at home. Okay, so let's go. Now the rinses are a little bit less invasive. Like I um sometimes use a door. I think Clairol, Clairol colors or something like that. They have like a little, you don't have to mix no developer. You literally just slap it on your head and color it. But again, after about, to me, after about two or three shampoos, it's pretty much gone. It's pretty much gone. All right. So yeah. That's what a rinse is. So a rinse don't have no emo, em, uh, ammonia free. And that's something that you can kind of like just do at home. But don't be doing that the way you got to mix developer and all that. No, 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 no. And my thing is, if you're looking for something more permanent, it just makes sense to go into a salon and get it done. Period. Okay. So that's the that's the third tip. Okay. I'm going to get through some of these comments. I'm going to get through some of these comments. Let's get physical. Okay, I seen it. I recovered. That was years ago. Never let anyone else play in your hair like that again. Show sure can't can't let people play in your hair. Mm-mm. Can't let people play on your hair. All right. Acacia said little Ray Ray on the shoulders. <laughs> yes. Are cellophone still a thing? I used to use those. My hair won't color nowadays. I have no idea what that is. Tracy Ann, I'm going to have to look that up. I have no idea what that is. Um, Acacia said, share this with five friends and family members. Coach Rue said, I still wish I would have gotten a butterfly on my ankle. I check it out. I don't wish nothing. I don't wish nothing. Because who I was dating at 18? Girl. 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 Acacia said, world famous glow butter in various scents and unscented. Click the link below. Thank you so much, Acacia. Culture Roo said, that jazzy and that Adore. Love those colors. Yes, yes. Adore is, I think, like vegan friendly. It's, it's, yeah, it's like a little hop, skip, and a jump. Just slap it on. Okay, just, just slap it on. Tracy Ann said, the ankle is a sense of spot. Yeah, well, that bone, bone. Mm -mm. that demolisher said i can't remember this but are highlights different than permanent hair color i remember i used to get streaks oh that was another thing i i forgot to uh mention was um highlights so yes highlights can be done by a uh, permanent color or a lightener aka bleach okay so you can get to me to be honest with you if you want to get highlights, it's better to do it with permanent color versus going through and like bleaching and lightening your hair. Permanent color is a little bit more healthier, quote unquote, than doing the actual bleaching. You still can do the bleaching, but it's a time and a place for all that. And you need to make sure your hair is up to par before you start doing all that. Okay. So yeah, thank you for, um, remember Thank you for um, answering that question. That was a good question. So, so. All right. Yes, from the Cracker Jack. 
Crack Cracker Jack box. Oh, I remember eating those. They were so good. Do they still make those? That's a sidebar. Q Scott said, your metaphors are so visual and make so much sense now. Now, what the difference is, I've only heard of rinse on my hair. Yeah. Yeah, and the um the visuals, that's how somebody else explained to me. One of my um hair mentors, shout out to Raymond Terragano, he kind of helped me with that metaphor. He helped me. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Okay. Now I get it. Okay. So, yeah, the metaphors help. Yes, that is what it was in rinse. They would put the rinse in a temporary color on my streets. Yeah, because now sometimes, like, if you get your hair light, lightened or bleached, you can kind of, like, switch out your colors. Like, you'll see people with the bright pinks. I, my hair was purple before. My hair was kind of like a pink before. Yeah, I used to do all that. I used to do all that. But I had my hair bleached. And let me tell you something. There was a lot of maintenance. There was a lot of maintenance. I had my shave size. And I had dyed my little middle area like a high lift blonde. And child, I was going through something. <laughs> I was going through something. Because, y'all, I literally just woke up one night and just shaved off all my hair. I was going through something, clearly. But it was cute while it lasted. It was cute. It was cute, okay? I ain't going to be too hard on myself. All right? So, if y'all ready for, um, I kind of already said this, but if y'all ready for the fourth thing, go ahead and put that in the chat. Put number four. Rinses be doing that collar dirty, though. Don't let it rain. Yes, yes, I thank you for addressing that, Queen Heart. Don't let it rain, yeah, yeah, it's gonna hit you with the okie doke. With the okie doke, yes, Queen Heart, neck collar be dark, uniform shirts, yep, show, show will. Okay, y'all put number four in this chat, hit the like button, and family. Thank you, Keisha. Got a little sisterhood tattoo on the inner shoulder, okay. Okay, okay, Queen Heart, we see you. All right, all right, so number four. This is the fourth thing you should consider. Like, say, well, I guess this still would be considered, no, well, not really. So if you if you want to consider hair color, but you're like, Lisa, I'm kind of scared. I don't know if I should do it or not. Another option is hair waxes. Hair, hair coloring waxes, okay? Put that in the chat, hair coloring waxes. So... Hair coloring waxes is, is basically is is colored wax and it's like a coating that you put just on top of your head. So I even did it to my hair too. And literally it washes out the next time you shampoo your hair. Like it's totally, I mean it's temporary, temporary. It's, it's even more temporary than a rinse. Like I know how y'all talk about like um like the rinse how it be on your collar, and then you had to wash this too. So when you apply the hair, the, yeah, hair color wax. When you apply the hair color wax, you don't shan you make make sure you shampoo and condition your hair first, and then you can take the hair color wax and just rub it on on top of it. And so basically, this will temporary color your hair. They have blue, they have pink, they have red. You can get all various colors. This is even good for kids. Like maybe during Halloween, your daughter want to change her hair color. Maybe she don't want to wear a wig and she just want to play around with it. You can get her some hair coloring wax. Because literally when she shampoos her hair, it's all going to come out. Versus a rinse. With a rinse, it'll probably take about maybe three to four shampoos. But with the hair coloring wax, it literally washes out right when you shampoo your hair. And I'm going to tell you now, if you got the hair coloring wax, you better be careful if it rains. You better be careful if it rain now. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. But this is good for like something totally temporary. Like some people used to do it like in hair shows, you know, they just want to like jazz it up or just for the day. So you also can consider that. So you can kind of see like, hmm, how would I look with this color in my hair? Hmm, how would this one? But you don't really want to go with the commitment yet. And this is something fun for kids, you know, even like I see like little boys doing it. Like, they'll put it in their hair, like, for spirit day and stuff like that. But that is another thing to consider if you just want to kind of, like, just play around with it and just kind of get a feel of, like, what you might look like, okay? So, I hope that helped. 
Queen Heart said, wow, I never heard of it. Yeah, go go Google it and look it up. It used to be like, I remember when it first, well, it probably still was being out, but I think it was like a couple of years ago, it really got trendy on Instagram. And everybody was selling it. Everybody was buying it. Yep. Coach um, Haru said, what about the Creons? Is that still a thing? I'm not sure. I haven't heard too many people talking about it. I haven't heard too many people talking about it, but... I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't put it past them. But I remember that's what we used to do back in the day. They got all kind of tactics out here. All kind of tactics. So, you can do the hair color and wax. Okay? Let me put that down because I ain't had that down. Hair wax. I'll be thinking of things as I get I have a list. And then I end up going off my list because I'll be thinking of other things. Okay? So... The fifth thing, the fifth thing, put a number five in the chat if you're ready for the fifth thing that you should consider if you're thinking about coloring your hair. Put number five in the chat. Put a number five. Okay. The fifth thing you should consider, the fifth thing you can consider is also the dangers of coloring your natural hair also the dangers of coloring your natural hair now i'll say this when it comes to lightener slash bleach that's the term that y'all know it is but we say lightener because it lightens the hair when it comes to lightener lightener can be very aggressive okay lightener going there and just punch you in the face okay it going in like ow okay Get that natural hair color out of here. Let me knock you out, okay? So, <laughs> the dangers of using Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lightener is very aggressive. And so, if you're not getting it done right by a professional, it's going to take your hair a slam out. It's going to take your hair a slam out. So, that's why when it comes to lightener slash bleach, you need to be going to go see a professional. Hair, and here's the thing. I want y'all to put this in the chat when I say this. Hair color does not take your hair out, okay? It's the lack of knowledge. Somebody just got set free. Okay? Hair coloring does not make your hair fall out. It's the lack of of knowledge so if you don't know what you're doing go to a professional okay go to a professional and listen to what the professional has to say about the upkeep because what happens is we want to bleach our hair at home try to be cheap or just whatever or we just want to do this and do that and we're not educated and the thing is no the color did what it was supposed to do but you wasn't doing what you were supposed to do as far as your maintenance. That's why I go back to tip number one. You have to consider the budget and the maintenance costs. Okay? The budget and the maintenance costs. I had my hair bleached. And y'all see, I still got hair. I still had her. Still had her. Okay? Because you need to get it done by a professional. Because they're going to have certain things that they put in the hair color that can protect. That they don't sell in your regular Sally's and your beauty supply store. They're not going to sell that stuff. But there's stuff they sell to the professional, different kind of bond builders. I don't know if y'all heard of Olaplex. They will put in the hair color and it's going to protect the hair. So it's not going to cause it to break off. It's going to build the bonds up. It's almost kind of like you're getting the hair color and the treatment all in the same thing. So that's why you need to be going to see the professional when it comes to lightener, permanent hair color, demi-permanent, all of that, okay? So, so, what I was trying to say, I kind of got off topic, but yeah, it's a lack of knowledge. It's a lack of knowledge. That's what takes your hair out. But one of the dangers I was saying is, one danger is it altering your curl type, okay? Put altering your curl type, put that in the chat. Put that in the chat. The center has joined 
Thank you so much for joining. She said, um, I joined right on time. Yes, you did. I'm so scared to color my hair because of horror stories I have heard. You know, you might have to go back and watch some of the, the replay because we did touch on some tips. But it's nothing to be afraid of if you're thinking about coloring your hair. It's nothing to be afraid of. And like I just said, it's the lack of knowledge that takes out your hair. When you're not educated, it's going to take your hair slam out. Slam out. But... Yeah, so what I'm going to say, a danger is your curl pattern might change. Now, when I decided to lighten slash bleach my hair, it did loosen my curl pattern, but I was okay. I was okay with it. It didn't, it didn't loosen it drastically, but it loosened it just a tad bit, but I was okay with it. I was totally okay. So I want to make y'all aware of that when you're thinking about lightener and stuff. And it also depends on how tight or how loose your curls is. Y'all know I, my hair is kind of tight. It's, it's kind of tight. So at the time, I think I had shaved my hair and I had lightened it. I was okay with my curl pattern just loosening just a little bit. I was like, it's okay. It's okay. Give me a break. Give me a break. But I was totally okay with that. But as my hair grew out my scalp, them roots were still thick. You hear me? Them roots were still thick. They were still thick thick okay so that's just something to consider depending on if your curl pattern is a little bit looser a little bit wavier this you have been worn okay i'm not saying that this is going to happen with everybody because everybody's hair is different depending on what you had on your hair previously it's a lot of caveats and nuances to that but this only applies to like the light the lightener part like if you plan on lightening slash the bleaching that's why i'm telling you bleach going in black uh um, that's why you got to get the right person to do it. Okay. You got to get the right person to do it. And the lady who did it, she was in my, the building I was working in. She did my, she always do my color for me and I don't never had no issues. The other thing I want y'all to consider is the dryness of the hair. That's another danger. That's another danger. I want y'all to be aware of. And y'all know we talk about in this channel is y'all know we talk about on this channel about dry hair and this here's the thing if you already struggle with keeping your hair moisturized hair coloring gonna seem like it's drying your hair out more so that's why i mentioned to say you have to make sure your hair is healthy and you know how to properly moisturize and take care of your hair because when that hair color come in there it can be a little drying okay so you have to make sure you are taking care of your hair because it's gonna be like oh my gosh my hair is so dry like I was just talking like, oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do? First of all, if you know what you was doing, you shouldn't even did it. If you don't be taking care of your hair, you shouldn't even did it. Okay? You shouldn't even did it. All right? Um, Cynthia said, no, losing your curl. No, losing your curl pattern. My X and Y chromosome parents work hard for this curl pattern. But here's the thing, Cynthia. That's only with lightener. Lightener sometimes. And I'm not saying you're going to lose it completely. I'm saying it will loosen, loose. I think that's what you were saying. It will loosen it just a little bit. It will, but that's only lightener. That's why I always say if you want to color your hair, and we went into like permanent, um, permanent hair color, and did my permanent and rinse. Rent when you put a rinse on your hair, like I said, it's just something sitting on top of your head. It's not gonna alter your curl pattern. The demi is not, the permanent, the permanent is not. I have not had a problem with that. But I did notice with the lightener, it loosened it a little bit. So that's why I always say, see, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional, okay? <laughs> I'm a professional. I know how to take care of my hair. If you don't, go to a professional, okay? But when it comes to those other ones, to me, to keep the integrity of the hair and you want to be more, go towards the permanent hair color, because you can get the same results with permanent hair color versus going so aggressive with lightener, okay, slash bleach. Go more towards the permanent hair color is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand because you can get the same beautiful and vibrant colors. And then, again, if you don't want to make a permanent commitment, you can do demi, okay? If you really don't want to do the demi commitment, you can do a rinse. So you have options. So I don't want y'all to be afraid of hair color, thinking like, oh, it's going to take my hair out. That's why I come on this channel to learn and get the knowledge. Okay. All right. All right. And Coach Rue said the dryness of hair. Yes. Yes. That's why I keep it moisturized. Okay. Keep it moisturized. 
And the other uh, other thing is, what well, that kind of goes with what I just said before about the curl pattern changing, is it uh, losing sometimes the thickness, the thickness. And that was more so with me. But once that bleach grew out, child, my hair was still tight. It was still tight. But I enjoyed that season when it was a little bit looser. I, I personally, I enjoyed it. Okay, because my hair snapped right back. It snapped right back. But that's just my experience is different depending on the person. But that's why, I, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. When it comes to coloring your hair, it's an investment. So you can't just be out here letting any and everybody color your hair. Go for a consultation. Go for a consultation with the stylist and sit down and talk to the stylist about what are your concerns, what are you looking to achieve, all of that. And here's another thing. Put a number six in the chat. Put a number six. I just thought about something off of my dome. Y'all see how the spirit be moving? Um, write it down so I won't forget. All right, number six. Put number six in the chat. I'm going to take a question. Queen Heart said, does the dry hair accelerate the graying transition? No. I'm, I'm going to say no. With gray hair, gray hair is very resistant. It's just stubborn because... I mean, it don't matter sometimes what you put on there. It it flares and it sticks out. But I don't think the, the dry hair accelerates the gray transitioning. I don't I don't believe so. I don't believe so. But you will see people who have grays, like they might not be all the way gray. They might just have like little streaks in there and they and they have problems with like frizz and they never lay down. Since that's normal. That that's what gray hair do is stubborn. It's like, look, sis, you can't tell me what to do. You put on edge control, it be like, what edge control? You try to twist your hair, lay your hair down flat, what are you doing? I do what I want to do. Until that hair, what I've seen, until that hair turns completely all the way gray, you going you gonna you gonna go through. You gonna go, you gonna go through. I'm just keeping it real. You gonna go through because you're gonna have the little strand one to stick out. I done seen it. Now y'all see Miss Sarah on my page. The young lady, I call her a young lady, but she could be my grandma. But Miss Sarah on my page with the white hair, her hair lays. Because you see, it done all got on one accord. And it's a pretty white, silvery gray. It's all on one accord now. It's all on one accord. But when you got those streaks, they are disobedient. And you got to plead the blood of Jesus over those gray hairs. You got to tell those gray hairs that you are the head. And they are the tail. Come on, somebody. <laughs> okay. Number six. I hope that answered your question, Queen Heart. Thank you for that question. Number six. The other thing you want to consider when you're thinking about dyeing your hair, coloring your hair, is if you already have previous hair color on your head. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When y'all go for these consultations for hair color, you need to be honest with the hairstylist. You need to be honest because let me tell you something. If you try to lie and say, oh no, I never had color before or, you know, if you had anything on your head before, I don't care if it was a rinse, a demi, a permanent lightener, you need to be honest because what happens because what happens sometimes is you're not honest. We can do a strand test, okay? And that's the thing. Do a strand test. Do a strand test. I forgot. That's that's a that's another tip. That's number seven. But I'm a, that's kind of number seven. But number six is that's how some people get horror stories is because they don't be honest. And then so the stylists will go with co doing a coloring service, and that's when you hear about. People either hair falling out, people hair didn't turn the color it was supposed to turn, and it didn't come out the way it was supposed to come out. It's because, okay, well, you've been honest about what you've been, what you had on your hair, what you had on your hair. So be honest. Think about the previous hair color. And she's going to explain, okay, and, and here's the thing have realistic expectations because 
to keep the integrity of the hair. Sometimes you're not going to be able to get that hair color in one sitting, depending on how light and bright you're trying to go. If they're trying to take you the 0 to 10 in one session, just be along. Sometimes it takes a couple of sessions to get that desired look. And I'm going to go ahead and do number seven. Thank you, Divinity, for reminding me. Number seven, the seventh thing you want to consider um, is doing a strand test. Doing a strand test. Because the strand test will kind of see how your hair is going to cooperate with the hair color or not. If it's going to change, you can kind of see if your curl pattern will alternate. There's so many benefits in the strand test. To get a strand test, you can probably get this done while you're doing a consultation. Okay, so that's another thing. If you're scared, don't be scared. Don't be scared. You be educated. Get the knowledge. Get the knowledge. Okay, get the knowledge. All right. So let me write that down so I won't forget. Strand. Make sure I'm not repeating stuff. So those are just some things that. I just thought of on the top of my head of things you should consider if you're thinking about coloring your natural hair. There's some things for you to think about uh, and figure out which route is best for you. Which route is best for you. Tracy Ann said, why does henna turn gray hair a brownish color? I don't, I don't think I'll ever get that. Yeah, henna is. Now, henna... I forgot to touch on henna. Henna is kind of like it's it's a nat it's supposed to be an all natural hair coloring system. With henna, I have seen it turn it like a, a brownish color on a lot of people. I don't personally like the look of it, but some people do. And also with henna, sometimes you can't depend on like if your hair is like really really dark, and you put like this henna on it. You really can't see that. It's not like a a vibrant color unless you like in the light. You can't. It's like a subtle look. So I, I forgot to touch on the henna. But why does it turn it gray? I think it has something to do with the stuff it's made with. The reason why it turns the gray hair brown. I don't personally like the look. But for some people, it works depending on their actual natural hair color. It actually kind of just blend in all together good. So... Yeah. Henna seem just as bad as it rents, basically. <laughs> basically. Basically. Coach Roo said, get the knowledge. Yes. Tracy Ann said, my gray strands poke out all the time. Shout shout out to Miss Sarah. Yeah. They're gonna be rebellious until they all get to that color. They all, they all. And I see it mostly with women. Well, I, well, I know in my family, we always start getting gray, like right here. My brother, Lil Ray Ray, his name ain't Lil Ray Ray. Ray Ray, thanks for watching this video. I don't know if my brother be watching these videos. He's like, what is the bill they're talking about? But Ray Ray, he, Lil Ray Ray, Lil Ray Ray. <laughs> He's like, I know Lil Ray Ray. I know Lil Ray Ray, but I'm a man. He think he grown. He ain't grown. But anyway, <laughs> he got like a little gray patch, like right here. And I noticed that I have my little gray patch right here. Now my sister, she be having slept on them wigs. I need to see what her, I need to do a hair analysis on her, see what her gray coming in at. But I brought that up is because that's that's common. Seems like a lot with uh, the gray always start coming in around the temples. That's that's common. So it might be it might be happening with you, but that's very very common. Okay. All right, and the center said these are great tips. So, did y'all find value in this live stream tonight? Did y'all find value? Did y'all find value in this live stream? I hope these tips was, I hope these tips open up your eyes and open up your awareness. And hopefully, if you're somebody that's considering color, maybe just kind of help and kind of put you at ease. They're like, oh, okay. So now I understand a little bit more, and I feel a little bit more confident. And maybe I might consider it, maybe not, maybe it's not for me. You know, just hope this hopefully gave you the awareness. Oh, one other thing I want to say. One other thing I want to say, if you're thinking about coloring your hair, this can be number eight. Is another temporary thing you can do is maybe go try on wigs. 
go try on wigs. Maybe when it's time for you to get, like I got crochet braids in, maybe get crochets or something with the color that you desire so you can kind of see like what it would look like. Like, huh, I wonder what I like this on me. So it's definitely temporary options out there that y'all should consider, you know, if you're trying to figure out if this is what you want to do with your hair and your hair color. And then also, this is another thing to consider too. Look, the spirit is moving. I just thought about another tip. I'm trying to close up. Another thing you consider it too is you don't have to be so drastic. So this is going to be number nine, the, the tip number nine. You don't have to be so drastic with the hair color too. You don't have to do your whole head. You can do highlights. You can just do just a section. You, it don't have to be this grand thing, okay? You don't have to be this grand thing because you would just be amazed with just a, a few little highlights here and there and you'd be happy you're going about your life, okay? You'd be happy you're going about your life. So don't think it got to be this grand production and you will just be amazed. you will just be amazed what, what a little bit of highlight will do for you. A little bit of highlight, okay? And remember, you can do the highlights with the permanent hair color. You don't have to do bleach and lightener. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Okay, but some of y'all about that life, some of y'all will still bleach your hair. And and bleaching your hair is not bad either. It's not bad either. But you have to make sure you're going to the right person and you're doing the right thing, okay? Keep your hair moisturized. So, yes. All right. Queen Heart says, yep, now it's popping up in my bang. It's cute, though. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's, it's real cute. I... I I had a new client. I don't know if I I, I posted her real, and she her, she had that salt and pepper. It was beautiful on her. It was it was gorgeous. So you know, embrace it, embrace it. Look, I'm telling y'all to embrace it, and I don't look. I don't co cover my little grays. Look at me. I'm trying to take y'all to embrace it. Nah, Lisa, you embrace it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Q Scott said absolutely i did okay so she said the tips must work lisa h said helpful tips queen heart said this was definitely helpful and informative thank you coach shana said sure was helpful yes coach h said i have to i used to have my hairstylist out a strip of color when i didn't want any color oh pull out a strip of color when you didn't want any co hair color yep and Divinity just said number eight was wigs and number nine and said don't be drastic with the hair color. Yeah, work your way up. Work your way up. Sometimes you know, might have to just, you can just do highlights in the front just to kind of see how it looks. Like, okay, I'm not really ready yet. And just keep on moving up until you get comfortable. But just know, maintenance. Okay, maintenance. All right. And the center said, oh my God, I love Miss Sarah hair. Everybody loves her hair. And y'all, I be trying to get Miss Sarah I blow, I did a blowout on Miss Sarah hair one time, one time. Everybody loved it, but she was like, uh-uh, baby, twist my hair back up. This is too much work. I was trying to get her to wear it out, and I be trying to get her to untwist her hair and wear like a bit twist out. Like when she, you know what, next time she comes see me and she got her hair in the twist out, I'm going to take a picture because her hair is so gorgeous. But y'all know that generation, like, no, nah, baby, my hair look nappy. No, nah, baby. No. Nah. I like Miss Sarah. Like, if you, honey, serve the people. Yes, but, you know, they feel like if their hair ain't twisted, that it ain't done. But it looks so pretty. So, yeah, she is out here just, just glowing, okay? And Queen Heart said, nothing wrong with a little salt and pepper. For the seasoned queens. I thought you were about to say the seasoned greens. I'm over here thinking about collard greens. You hear me? I already think about Thanksgiving. <laughs> Y'all can tell I'm a foodie. How you think about Thanksgiving? How you think about Thanksgiving? I'm thinking about them greens, cuz. Desenta said it's beautiful and she wears it with confidence. Yes, she does. Coach Sheena said so. Can you use black mascara to cover the gray edges? You absolutely can. You absolutely can. You absolutely can. <laughs> you can because it's going gonna, it's gonna to wipe right off. It's going to wipe right off. So, yeah, if you just need, like, if you got something right there that's bothering you, like, man, I got this little spot. This a little black mascara. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. You never wrong with that. 
Divinity said, I love the platinum silver. It is advisable to go full stream head and get it bleak. Oh, is it advisable to go full steam head ahead and get it bleached? I've had the color before, but the water turned my hair brassy. Now, when you can do the platinum silver, you can you can go and get that done. But I know you are in, I know you are in, um, because we talked about this divinity. I can't think of the state. Flint, Michigan. And we talked about the water. Now, have you tried that shampoo, the purple shampoo? Did that help? Did that help? Because... That will help with the brassiness. That will help with the brassiness. That shampoo will. That shampoo. So, try that. Why wouldn't they be honest, though? The sensor, are you asking about if they use previous hair color? Because clients want what they want when they come in. They don't, they don't want to listen to us. People want what they want. When they're ready to get their hair done and they, they all excited about hair color, they think they're about to get that color. So, yeah, they're going to just be like, oh, no, I, ain't, I haven't did that. And they're going to just, because they, people want what they want. So people want color, they just want what they want, okay? So it had to be up to the stylist to make that executive decision, like, absolutely not, you're not getting it done. Or they do a strand test, and we're going to really find out if you're telling the truth or not. So, yeah. Great question. Um, Coach Sheena, yeah, that was a good question. Queen Hart, you better tell it on the mountain. I know that's right. Okay, yes, you use that. So, yeah, you can do the platinum silver, but you just have to make sure every time you shampoo your hair that you use that, that shampoo because that's going to take away that brassness. That's going to take away that brassness and make sure you are letting that shampoo sit. Like, don't just put it in and massage a minute and take it out. You got to sometimes let that shampoo sit. And then also, also, not only with the purple shampoo, but you can also tone the hair. That can be something that your hairstylist can do. She can tone the hair. She can do different kind of toners that to kind of take away that brassiness look, okay? All right. So, am I going to give y'all a quiz? I'm going to give y'all a quiz. I'm going to just give y'all one question. So, did that demolish? I hope you're still listening because I got some growth work for you. I'm going to try to get on my live. Did the demolish? I'm going to try to get on my live stream last night trying to give me some growth work. Talking about Lisa, what about your goals? Girl, we over here kicking. You is not about to get on my channel asking about no goals. So for that, uh, did that demolish you? You got to grow for a question tonight. And I hope you're still watching. Okay. So I'm going to give y'all a quiz. Um, Which... All right, this question is pretty e easy. I'm going to give y'all a question, then we'll go ahead and head off. I think so, so not that. Oh, she going mm -hmm. to see this. Mm-hmm. When she watch the replay, mm-hmm, I'm talking about you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm back. These phone calls. Oh, okay, okay, she, that's okay. That's okay, okay. She, we about to end up. We about to end. We about to end. Let's make sure. Let's see if y'all been. Let's see if y'all been listening. All right. The vendor said, thank you. I use the toning shampoo on my blonde. And platinum wigs also makes them shine like a diamond. Yes, they did. If you don't vote, go ahead and put you voted. Go ahead and put you voted. All right. Go ahead. I made the question easy tonight because. Last night, was it last night or the night before when we had the class about uh, the hair loss gene? 
some of y'all was all confused, okay? But it's all good. It's all good. All right. All right. Now, who? I wish I could see who voted. If you voted, go ahead and put you voted. Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now, y'all. Let's get the answer right tonight. That's okay. I'm going to keep on working with y'all. I'm going to keep on working with y'all. I'm going to keep on working with y'all. The question is, which is more aggressive? And I'm going to give y'all a hint. Uh. Which is more uh on the hair? Okay? Which is more aggressive on the hair? I just gave y'all a context clue. Okay, y'all voted. I got seven votes. How many people watching? Ten. Three of y'all want to vote right quick? You don't have to, but come on now. Come on now. If you're enjoying this live, hit the like button. Come on now, y'all. Come on now. Can y'all change y'all answer? Okay, two more people. Y'all want to vote for me right quick? And then we'll go ahead and end. Somebody start. Q Scott, can you sing the Benedict Benediction for us? I know you don't want to see sing, but be obedient. Just be obedient tonight and sing. Okay, I ain't got time to argue with you, Q Scott. Just sing the benediction, okay? Sing it. <laughs> I ain't got time to debate. Don't have that spirit. <laughs> I ain't got time to debate with you tonight. Just sing, okay? We ain't got time. <laughs> okay, okay. So I get, okay, y'all. So let's go back over it. The answer is lightener. Lightener is more aggressive on the hair. Okay? Lightener. I don't look. I'm going to go ahead and end the poll. Don't be having that bed to differ spirit like Tony Gaston say. Uh, Q Scott, don't have that bed to differ. Uh-uh, uh-uh, we ain't doing it tonight. <laughs> oh, the death demolition said, y'all made me get up and get my phone. I'm listening. My phone is on the charger across the room. I voted. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We were talking about you. Uh-huh. And don't and the demolition, don't you get up here with no bed to differ spirit. Don't you get up here with no bed to differ spirit. Just just be obedient. Be obedient to the spirit. The spirit of bed to differ. <laughs> so the answer was lightener. Lightener is more aggressive on the hair, okay? Permanent is keeps the more the integrity of the hair. So that's the correct answer. All right, that's the correct answer. So we got some peepers. Yep. <laughs> so without further ado, I want to thank y'all for joining this live stream and y'all come to print Kiki with me and I enjoy learning and serving with y'all and just all that good stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Q Scott over there laughing, but I still don't see no music. But we're going we're gonna to go ahead and, we're gonna go ahead and head on out. We have to have us a, um, a deliverance service tomorrow. Deliverance service for obedience. For obedience. <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, Okay, Divinity say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, what she say, wait a minute for? We about to play the jingle. We about to play the jingle. All right, let's see what Divinity got to say right quick. Wait a minute, told ya metaphors really helped me. Okay, good, Q Scott, good, good, good. Queen Heart is already singing. Okay, Queen Heart singing the benediction. We waiting for Divinity to see Beijing hair color. I see a lot of men do the Beijing hair color. They be drawing that hairline on. They be drawing the hairline on. Where is my jingle? Where is my jingle? Okay, y'all. Oh, there you go. Tracy Ann said, good tips, but still no color for me. I'm waiting for my natural gray color. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Whatever way you want to uh, go. I just said the closer in prayer. Okay, thanks, Coach Shana, because Coach Shana got a bedtime. She's like, sister, you need to go ahead and end. Sister, sister. And, and the Vinny that came in with the buzz beater. <laughs> that, that what Tony be saying? You know, came in with the buzz beater with her question, with her comment. I asked my stylist about conditioning my hair. She said just to put it on the whole hair, I had to beg her <laughs> 
<laughs> you had to beg her pardon because y'all done heard me say shampoo is for the scalp, conditioner is for the ends. But did she put it? But did she put the conditioner on your scalp? If she ain't put it on the scalp, give her a little grace. Give her a little grace if she ain't put it on the scalp. Give her a little grace. Oh wait, I just select the scent too soon. Oh, okay. Okay. So, all right. They already sing the benediction. So, we're going to go ahead and head on out. So, y'all make sure y'all share this video out to somebody who maybe done jacked up their hair and they need help. Or you have somebody that's considering. Go ahead and share it. She's cool with it. Okay. Go ahead and share this video out so it can bless somebody. Thank y'all so much for subscribing to the channel and liking and supporting. And, yeah. we're going And, look. The originator, the creator of this jingle is the dead demolition. Don't try to get on her nerves, okay? Just know I was chosen and I feel honored. All right, good night. Oh. oh I, ain't got my, I ain't got my sound on. No, no, Queen Heart. We don't want you to sing. Oh, hold on, hold on. Why am I sounding up? Okay. Sorry, y'all. Let's try this again, okay? Okay. Hey, Lisa. I said, hey, Lisa. She sliding through with the glow waters. She sliding through with the glow waters. Oh, I said, hey, Lisa. Do a Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Do a Lisa. Sliding on through with the glow waters. I said, sliding on through with the glow waters. I said, my room close. I said, man, go.